Hello everyone, I'm Tuhan Felix Cortez from FilipinoCombatives.com and I'm here with AwesomeKarateDrills.com to bring you some more awesome drills. Haha. <laughs> Alright, what we're gonna work on is we're gonna still, we're still focusing on our lines of attack. Regardless of um, whether we use the alphabet or we use templates or abecedarios or whatever striking patterns that we use, they're all lines, either of attack or defense, okay? Um, so today what we're going to focus on is uh, 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 our first letter of the alphabet or those first lines of attack, whether it's right to left or, or left to right, I, th I think we're getting the idea, um, or we're changing levels, doesn't matter. What we're going to focus on today is like, a, like a developing rear strikes like this and then switching footwork, okay? We have, uh, in Filipino combatives, we do a lot of footwork. One of the footwork that we use is forward triangle. So we go here and like we saw in the group dynamics drill. Okay, this is our forward triangle. Okay, we can go into reverse triangle, we can do some sidestepping, some ducking. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, rolling and uh, uh, ground techniques that we use. Um, but we're gonna use this footwork, all right, the uh, linear, to show a linear uh, strike pattern using these lines, right? That one, two, three, or three on the backhand, okay? For example, if I'm in my guard here, I'm going to step back and get into a ready position as I'm going to do a form. And I'm going to strike my one and two. That's my portion. On three, I'm going to change uh, directions and go the other way so I can create another uh, 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 line going in the opposite direction. So I go one, two, and then three, and then back. So basically what I'm doing is I'm stepping forward one, stepping forward two, and then turning, crossing this leg in the back, like we call this like a, a diamond stance, and then we're gonna strike down the middle three, and then we open up into kind of like a back stance position, right, uh, uh, to start from the other side. So we go one, two, three, and back, okay? And the continuous flow would be All right, now, what we could also do is double up on the strikes or wind up for power strikes. For example, if I wanted to do this line, right, this number one here, this line, and wind up for a power strike, I would wind mm, and strike. Wind, mm, okay, that generates more power. If I wanted to hit double with it, I pop, pop, I'd make it small. I wouldn't wind up as much. I'd make it two quick ones. Doubling up, what that creates is a circular motion, so we're developing a twirling drill. The inside twirl is thumb down, palm down, and we're twirling on the inside of the body, okay? Keeping it away from the body, okay? Like this, this is our inside twirl, okay, from here. So I'm extending to strike and turning the wrist, okay? And I wanna keep my fingers, especially those two, wrapped around that stick so I can get that motion on the inside like this, okay? Right, and I want to try to complete a big twirl. How many fingers or how I grip the stick, it really doesn't matter because we really don't want to have that, that full stick like that, you know, that death con grip because it, it really like um, will stop the flow of the twirl. So what we want to do is kind of like release it and grip it, okay? And you just work with it and you'll see how you find it. That's an inside twirl. From here, palm up, it's an outside twirl. The outside twirl, when we're striking, is down this way. So we're twirling down on the outside, so the palm is up, and the stick kind of like falls to the front and on the side of the body like this. Okay, so we're moving this way. That's a outside twirl, because it's on the outside of the body. Okay, again, I open my hand, and I grip that stick, loosen and re-grip, to get that twirl motion there like that, okay? So you have your inside and your outside, your inside and your outside, okay? Now when you do this, you're doubling up on your, and that's how you create the twirl. Okay, the other one is inside, outside like this. That would be like your, your center lines there, all right? So we go to guard position, all right? From here, I like to pull back and get ready and then we go to our twirls. One, two, and three, and ready. And one, two, and three, and ready. And one, two, three, and ready. One, two, three, twirl. Now, if I go high, it's because I'm going for that power strike. If I keep it low 
and short is because I'm going for the double strike. So when you understand the mechanics or your goal and what you want to achieve, then that's how you decide, well, why is he going so big? He's open. Well, because in order to create power, I have to open it like that. I can create power by keeping it close, right? But it's a different motion. So we use one to double up on strikes and the other one to really create the strike that's gonna hit that home run for you. Thank you for joining us on awesomekaratedrills.com and I'll see you next time.